Hi, welcome to my channel, Promising Creations. In this channel, I do upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting once a week or twice a week. If you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. If you have been watching my channel, those have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate you all. And if you are new, please do hit the red button and the notification bell so that you'll be forced to notify whenever I upload. Let's start. This is the bustier, princess bustier that, that I've already dabbed. I have a video on that. This is the center front and this is the side, the two side front. And this is the wording that we are going to use for the padding. And this is the este. I'm going to use este on the fabric. And also this is the fabric that we are going to use. To start with now, I'm going to place the, the lining and the, the gun lining on the fabric to cut. I'm going to place it this way. This is the fabric we are using. This is how I'm going to place it this way, making sure that it's aligned, then placing this to this way. Then I am going to cut now. Okay. I've done gumming it. Look at the way I gum it. At this edge here, I added a stay in order for it to lie so that there will be no show of demarcation where the wording stopped. Even at the down part, I did same. Also here, I did same here. Three layers or four layers of pieces of a stay. I use it to blend it together so that there will be no demarcation when you fold it you will not be seeing the demarcation on it now i'm going to the machine to join it before we start the proper way of padding it but i'm going to use pin to safe guide it so that let me show you i'm going to use pin to safe guide it this way pin it up making sure that the under boss point line together this is to then you pin it or pin the other way then we'll go to the mesh okay now i'm going to join the both side together now i'm going to join both sides together and i make sure that i use the half inch i provided for it Following it the way, gently matching them together, making sure there is no making sure that each other match together this way, following it gentle, gentle. Sure that it's much here. There are no essences at the top. The same thing goes to the other side. Following it up, matching it together. Make sure that it aligns here so that there will no exercise at that part. I have done joining it this way this is how it will look but in order for it to be properly padded and look more 
curved and smooth. There are some techniques or there are some elimination at the back here that we need to do in, before it will be smooth. Now, this excesses of the wording here, we are going to detach it from the fabric. Detaching it, we are going to cut it off before proper line of this part. I'm going to detach it all, detach it all. Then after pulling up this way, after pulling, separating it from the fabric, then you cut it up this way, cut it off this way. Being careful so that you don't tamper with the line that you stitch, with the stitching lines. Gently, don't rush to do it, just do it gently. Cut it off this way. The same thing goes to the four, to the two, two side. This side you remove. This side you cut off. After cutting it off this way, to remain only the fabric, then you notch through, so that when you are blending it together, it should be freely to flip up. To be very free when you want to flip it up. You notch this way. Not here, not here. I flip it up this way to see how it looks. This is how it will look now. But we are going to use this ball, this boss ball, put it under, put it under it. Then we are going to iron it first, this side. So that it will be smooth this side. So that when we are iron, when we are gumming it at the back side, it will also line very well. Give it a good press, a smooth and neat press. Same thing goes to the other side of the and from here. This is somehow smooth, but now we are going to do the proper how to pad it properly. You flip it up this way, take the ball inside. Now you open it up, you open it up this way, then you iron it through. So here, okay. After separating it this way, you open it up and iron it this way. I'm going to use pieces of este. You pieces este this way. Then you place it like this. Place it up this way. Gum it up this way. Following it up gently, making sure that it it lies the way you open it up. Be sure gently. Don't rush on it. 
so that you'll have a neat job. Putting the ball under, the breast ball, you put it under for neat gumming. Also flip it on this way. Make it gently, don't rush, just make it gently, very gentle, so that the gummy will not affect the curve of the bust here. Follow it gently, gently, and make sure that the way you open it up, that's how it is. Then you still flip it up this way. Flip it up this way. Put the ball under. Put the ball under it. Then you give it a good press. The reason why we are putting the ball under is that the so that the bust curve will not be tampered with. Excesses you trim it very well. Then when you have excess, trim it gently. These are end products. This are bustier, princess bustier. That's how to pad it, and it will be very okay. So that when you wear it, you can even wear it without a bra. Thank you for giving me your time till now. I appreciate you watching till this time. Also, I would like to hear your comments, your requests, your suggestion in the comment section below. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, Promising Creations. I love you. God bless you all. Bye.